The ballots have been tallied from Tuesday's primary election. We'll bring you all the local results and introduce you to Mallory, our pet of the week. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. The Spring Fling event is on now at Preferred Auto in Auburn. Buy today and take your choice of a free netbook computer or Nintendo Wii. And you still get our famous 100,000 mile warranty. And free car watches for life. The Spring Fling event at Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Hoosier Ohio News Channel. The results are in from Tuesday's primary elections. In DeKalb County, the race for Republican candidate for sheriff went to Don Lauer with 41% of the vote. Working to, you know, to protect kids and do things to, to protect kids in the family, in the county especially children of meth addicts or child molest victims. Um, well, those are a few of the things that I look forward to doing. Lauer is a 22-year veteran of the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department and defeated Mark Heffelfinger with 35% of the vote and Jay Oberholzer, who took 24%. As results came in, city and county leaders commended the three men and their parties on their integrity and professionalism during the race for the nomination. County Commissioner West District for DeKalb County went to Randy Dietz with 46% of the vote. In the sole Democratic race, Thomas Hayhurst won by a large margin with 82% of the votes. In the school board races, Bruce Buttermore took 43% of the vote to claim the DeKalb Central School Board at large seat. As the schools are probably going to face additional cuts, I'm sure, in the future as the state continues to lower the budget. Um, my hope is, with my experience from business, my MBA that I have, is to be able to work with those, um, looking at those cuts, what's the most effective way that we can do those, and with working with minimal resources uh, that the school may be having. Tim Haynes was also elected to a seat on the DeKalb School Board to represent Grant and Richland Townships. For Garrett Kaiser Butler at large, Tony Griffin took the win. For City, Chris Hoffel edged out his competitors. DeKalb Eastern School Board Richard Musser took the majority of the votes, as did Greg Newcomer and Sherry Strock. In Steuben County, Tim Troyer took the nod for the Republican nominee for Sheriff with 60% of the vote. For County Prosecutor, Mike Hess defeated Jim Burns and County Surveyor went to Larry Gilbert. For County Commission, Loretta Smart and John Hughes took the win for the North District seats. And in Noble County, the race for Sheriff was a close one. Only 42 votes edged Doug Harp above Max Weber. Gary Leatherman won for the 3rd District seat on the County Council. Michelle Mahorter won the Recorder's race. You can find more election results at ilovefroggy.com. And this week's pet of the week is Mallory. Mallory is a beagle puppy, only six months old. She was brought in as a stray. She's received her vaccinations and is ready for a good home. She's great with people and kids and loaded with energy. To adopt Mallory, visit the shelter on US 6 in Butler and go to ilovefroggy.com for more pets of the week. And that's the news for now. Find more news at ilovefroggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. Where do you go for the best selection and lowest price? Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Preferred Auto has the cars. Over 500 vehicles available. Preferred Auto has the credit. Good credit. Bad credit. No credit. The Spring Fling event is on now. Buy today and take your choice of a free netbook computer or Nintendo Wii. And you still get our famous 100,000 mile warranty. And free car washes for life. Hurry, our free netbook or free Nintendo Wii offer won't last long. The Spring Fling event at Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Next to Hollywood Video.